In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, we're heading to Springfield, Ohio for the antique show and flea market extravaganza. We literally packed this SUV to the top. That's how much stuff we bought. But I'd have to say the highlight of my trip was meeting all the fans of Flea Market Rescue. You guys are awesome. And I hope you enjoyed Springfield as much as I did. And for those of you who couldn't go, don't worry, I got you. I'm going to take you on a shopping adventure. So if you're ready to attend the Springfield Antique Show and Flea Market, then let's do this. Now, before we get started, I just want to welcome anyone who's new here. My name is Kelly Sherry. I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. If you're interested in learning how to do some of this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Now, the Springfield Antique Show and Flea Market in Ohio is my most favorite flea market to go to. I look forward to it every year because they have such cool stuff there. Now this year I thought, why don't we get everyone who watches Flea Market Rescue to come and meet? So we picked the big ice cream cone for our meeting spot. Now I couldn't go empty handed. So I had my friend Karma, my mom and myself, we made some bags for everyone and some keychains and just something nice to give them for coming. And we headed off to Ohio in the wee hours of the morning. Hey guys, we're in Ohio. Springfield is about a four hour trip, but it is so worth it for us. So we arrived at the Cracker Barrel about seven o'clock because we were definitely gonna have breakfast. Can I tell you, their blueberry pancakes are amazing. They even serve it with warm blueberry syrup. So after breakfast, we headed for the fairgrounds. Oh, you guys, look at Springfield. Holy moly, look at all the cars and tents. Okay, we're gonna be pulling in here. Okay, so we are waiting in line to pay. It is $15 to get in, the early bird special. Hi everyone, welcome to Springfield. We're here at the flea market and I can't wait to show you around. So come on, let's go. Right away, I came across this for a dollar. Oh, this is really, really cute. I'm gonna have to get this. Now this is neat, but I got my eye on these chickens over here. These are pretty heavy. I'm thinking that they're probably cast iron. And they're a little expensive, so we're just going to kind of move on because I really don't want to spend that. I really like these. I thought these were super cool. I like the typewriter font. I even think by the end of the show, she was completely sold out of these. She was selling these for about $20 a piece. I really love the green color of these jars. And the black age lids go perfectly with these. But what would I do with them? And I just got here, so let's move on. Oh, well, 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 will you look at it here? You know I love these kind of drawers. Actually, I have quite a few. I love going to the flea market. You just never know what you're gonna find. It's like treasure hunting. These are some great Crocs and they're reasonably priced here too. Like this big one right here, it's only $10. If you remember back, we did a trash to treasure project with a jug and a crock that we got from the thrift store and we made them look really awesome. Oh, don't you worry about that. Oh look, there's some more metal drawers. Do you guys remember when I bought that huge metal cabinet with all the drawers? I thought my husband was gonna kill me. Anyway, I think I have enough metal drawers. I love coming to Springfield in the fall because they have mums and pumpkins and everything that you would want to decorate your home with. Oh wow, this end table is only $8.50. I didn't see that when I was panning through here. Cute chairs. Oh, but I'm going to have to check this out. 
Now, normally you would find just a can without a lid. This one has a lid. This is a cute sign. I like this. So as we were looking through the booth, it wasn't long before we ran into one of the fans of Flea Market Rescue. So I just met April here, and she's going to meet us at the big ice cream cone right. tomorrow. <laughs> yep. And have you got anything yet? Just a couple of things. Got a little. This is tobacco. This is made out of tobacco steaks. Oh, that is really cool. So, For five dollars, yeah. that's, that's a good exciting. score. So, it looks like you got some nice candlesticks yes. too. And these pumpkins look like the design. Oh, those are cool too. Yeah. You're off to a really good start. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty, I'll see you. All right, thanks. I thought that was so cool to run into April, and I cannot wait to meet everyone at the big ice cream cone tomorrow. All right, we got some shopping to do, so let's take a look over here. Wow, this whole booth is nothing but Crocs and jugs. And before I left that booth, I ended up buying a jug. I had to get this. I love it. Very old. Directly in the sun, it kind of looked brown, but it really does look like it's black, and I really like that. Very cool. This was a really nice booth, and I thought she was very reasonably priced. And if you really wanted to wheel and deal, you probably could have got this for about $12. Wow, this is really chunky and quite a statement piece. I like this. Remember when we were in Claire, Michigan and we went to the Amish flea market, we came across one of these and they're actually a sugar mold, it said. Yeah, so that's a really nice piece for a farmhouse or a cottage. These are really cool, and I love the pantina on them. Oh my gosh, you guys, dress forms. You know, I got a few of those too. This was a really cute booth too, Tina's Farm Charm. Oh, a piggy cutting board. Remember when we did that trash to treasure project using one? It was kind of stuck in this basket here. I couldn't get it out, so I just kind of moved on because I do have a scroll saw and I actually could cut a few of these out. That's a nice white chippy box. We actually could probably make one of these. It looks pretty simple. I really like this old white bookshelf. It is perfectly distressed. You can tell this is very old. Oh, I love the socks. I remember seeing some of these at the thrift store. Well, actually just one this one right here. I remember back in the day wanting one of these, but I just never bought any. Anyway, just looking at these, I could see you painting them red and distressing them, adding some greenery, maybe some bells. It could be some really cute Christmas socks. That's really cool. Huh? My mom ended up buying this. If she hadn't, I would have definitely got this. How much is that? Well, I don't know because it was just on the Here's us trying to figure out what the price was because it was actually sitting underneath the vase. This lady had her stuff marked very cheap. She had things that were marked just a dollar. She had things that were marked anything on this table, five dollars. Those are very cool. 
I really wish I would have bought one of these big roosters from her. They'd be great for a business display. A lot of times you see the bases, but not the domes. So here she has three domes that you could put right over a base. Black and white enamel is so hot right now. I can't believe I didn't look at the price of this kettle. I would have bought it. Just picture this. A little ceiling in this cup during Christmas time with maybe like a hang tag of Christmas on it. Oh my gosh. Window frames, shutters, she had it all. These columns were really cool, but I would have needed a U-Haul to bring them home. I'm telling you, a lot of these things were $5, including some of the window frames. I had my eye on these wire lampshades. However, I didn't get them and I'm kind of kicking myself for it. These drawers were really cool and they were only $5. Now you know when you come to Springfield, you have to get some Sweet Annie. I bought some Sweet Annie, which smells great. And you can do like a wreath, you can add it into um, a flower arrangement with hydrangeas and stuff. And my neighbor, I bought her some last year. She made a wreath of it and she put it outside. And she said she has it hanging right now and you just shake it and you get the smell right back again. So this is a great filler for anything that you really want to do so yeah you really want to get your sweet annie and you probably should get it first because it always sells out every year this year my mom got some of that bittersweet we were seeing it everywhere displayed <laughs> wow we these are huge I love the simplicity of this farm sign. What a clever idea to use spindles for the stems on a pumpkin. I really like this. She also used gourds for the heads of what looks to be a ghost. These are really nice antique white shutters. Oh, look at this, more bittersweet. See, we're seeing it everywhere. These would make really good potion bottles. Look at all the bed springs. Oh, and here's more Sweet Annie. I found even more bed springs underneath the table. I ended up buying these thinning shares and also a German book. Can I read German? No, but I love the look of old paper. Now, this was the craziest thing I saw because these are real eggs. Are they good? Can you put them on display? I don't know. They had such a beautiful color to them, I could see adding three to a nest. Speaking of nice color, look at these. That pretty blue with rust, the antique white with rust, so nice. Oh my gosh, look at the blue bike with that basket on the front. You could put flowers in there. It would be so cute in a garden. Oh, those are really cute. And for a dollar, Mom? Yeah. You gotta get them. Was there three? Three. Yeah, definitely get those. Yeah, they're cute. So this next booth, I was really admiring. I really liked the stuff she had there. She even had rolling pins, so I was checking those out. And then I came across this chicken on wheels, 
And then all of a sudden I heard her say, you're from Flea Market Rescue. So we got to talking. Her name is Carol and she's from Unique Finds. My mom and I found a lot of things at her booth and she was wheeling and dealing and you know we love that. So thank you, Carol, for selling us some great stuff, and it was a pleasure meeting you. This next booth really caught my eye. It really looked like fall, and she had the big sunflowers. She had white pumpkins. She just really knew how to display her stuff well, and like I said, it immediately caught my eye. And then I came across these. Those are adorable. I love the shoelaces too. They almost have like a buffalo chuck with the greenery. $15, we're getting it. So I had to see what else she had here. And I found out that her and her friend had booths back to back. And I asked her, well, what is the name of your company? And she said, you know what? Just call us the two redheads. So this is more of her friend's booth. What are you seeing, mom? Some old books, huh? I found a really good German one. Did you see it? No. Oh, look at this. This is cute. That's a good idea. It's a good uh, that kind of paper. Right. You know, uh, print it, mm -hmm. stamps and stuff. And oh, yeah. And just shred it up. Very cute. some jello molds yeah but they're um there's no hole oh okay so be a little difficult well, you to make our pumpkins I came across this old silverware, and there's so much you can do with old silverware. You could paint it, put it in a frame, like something like this. You could just leave it the way it is and put it on some barn wood. You can even use those stamp letters and stamp a few things into it, making them into plant markers. So for that reason, I really like old silverware. Now this booth also had letters and old bills and things like that. I like to collect stuff like that because I can add it into like a collage and make my hang tags with. She had old photographs and look what I found here. She had a variety of different old scissors. Now you're probably wondering why are you collecting all these scissors? Well I want to do like a framed um, scissor display and I think that would look really cool with old scissors. Now this next booth that we're gonna go into, this booth had a lot of style and they're called Small Town Junk and you can look them up on Instagram or Facebook. I'll leave a link in the description. I mean, just look at the display of pumpkins on the outside of their booth. I mean, it looks great. It's just so inviting that you cannot wait to get inside to look. They have some furniture pieces, but they also have clothing as well. They know how to decorate. Look how they have these flannel shirts decorated, surrounded by pumpkins, the ladder on top, the antlers. Just, it, it's really on point. This must be a little of their back stock here. Look how beautifully this is all displayed. Hey, we just saw some of those domes. And in case you missed it, I just want to show you this fireplace again. I've never really seen a black fireplace like this, but I love it and I totally could see it in the store display. 
All right, you guys, I want you to meet this girl, Jennifer. Her and her husband, Gary, are owners of Twigs and Berries. Her booth is so cute. I was absolutely drawn to it. And I was like, mom, you have to check this out. Come to find out, she watches Flea Market Rescue. And she said she learned a lot of this from watching Flea Market Rescue. So I just want to pan through her booth and just kind of show you the things she's been working on. So we're going to go into Twig and Berries here. This booth is phenomenal. I spotted this booth right away. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this booth. She does some really, really good work. And guess what? She watches Flea Market Rescue. I am gonna leave a link in the description if you guys want anything. Oh, look at, she even did one of our stars that we've been talking about. Love, love, love this food. There's the tree and then the chippy rooster that we did. And bread boxes sell. I sell them all the time. Just fabulous. <laughs> These, you guys, all the farm animals. These are really cute, too. Look at that. I bought that tote. I had to have it. And her prices are fabulous too. I adore these black chairs here. And look at these potted plants on the barn wood. I really like that too. What do you think, Mom? I think it's great. I know. Very nice. It's really hard to believe that this is her first show. Jennifer, I see a lot of success on your horizon. I always love to support small businesses and local businesses. So if you've seen anything at Twigs and Berries, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can contact Jennifer and Gary. Now we were getting hungry, so we stopped for some pizza. This is fire roasted pizza from Raging Bull. Did you miss that? I love it, huh? That's really good. Look at all that balsamic glaze. Yeah. Fantastic. My mom's waiting for hers to cool. Yours too hot. <laughs> Alright, we are getting quite a nice collection here old shutters and old window. You know, I like those dress forms. My mom got her sweet Annie. And at this point, no one's really wanting to pull the wagon because it's pretty heavy. So we're going to have to make a trip back to the car. But before we did, we ran into Lindsay and her mom, who are also fans of Flea Market Rescue. Lindsay, I'm going to come to Indiana. Lindsay told me she has some of the best thrift stores by her, so I'm always up for an adventure. Now, Springfield is absolutely mammoth, and it's almost impossible to do the whole flea market in one day, so that's why we break it up into two days. I hope you'll stay for day two, because in day two, I'm going to take you to some of my most favorite booths, and also, you'll get to meet some of the viewers that watch Flea Market Rescue, which was really the highlight of this whole trip for me. So I'll see you tomorrow at the Big Ice Cream Cone. All right, good morning, welcome back. So we're just starting out today and we are just gonna see what treasures we can find today. I love how this is just so chippy white. It's perfect. Oh, I'm gonna have to get this. Remember the bucket that we did? You know, the one with a clown? If we could turn that one around, we can make this one look fabulous. Look at me looking at those cabinets again. Don't worry, I'm not getting it. That would definitely blow all my money. But I can admire it. 
Wow, this is so pretty. Which one? Orange. Uh, 18. That'd be good for pumpkins, like you said. But how many are you gonna make? Um, I think I might need this pillow. $18 for this? That is such a good price. Mom, how much is too much? Not enough. Right after that, we ran into this lovely lady who had a booth. She was a vendor here at Springfield, and she said that she watches Flea Market Rescue too, so it was really nice to run into her as well. We were meeting people all over, but the big meet and greet, that was at two o'clock. Now, it was still early enough that we could do a little more shopping, plus I wanna take you to some of my favorite booths. So let's head over there. This booth was absolutely gorgeous and reminded me of fall. This booth was called Bella Vintage Home and you can find her on Instagram as well as Facebook. And I will leave a link in the description so if you see something that you like, you can get in contact with her. Look at how pretty everything is displayed. I love that white toolbox and the white pumpkins. They're just really beautiful. I think these are really cool too. They remind me of a braided rug. The black with the muted orange just really does it for me. I love this look. I can totally see decorating my house with some of this stuff for fall. Speaking of decorating, we're gonna have Decorating with Debbie coming up soon. This is just gorgeous. All the mercury glass, the white pumpkins, it just, it all works together. Again, that was Bella Vintage Home, and I'd have to say this is one of my favorite booths. She decorated it beautifully. Now my next favorite booth is called Curate. She really knows how to put stuff together. Her name's Tracy, and she's from Michigan. I bought things in Midland from her, and I also know her from another store I used to shop at. What do you think, Karma? I like them. Aren't they nice? Very nice. We could cut them in half and then have like ornaments. I bought these because I can totally see these on a Christmas project, so stay tuned. You know what I love? This clock. I don't know, I think I have a thing for clocks. Trying to get this down without knocking everything over. So what time is it, Kelly? It is time to get this clock. This is a really neat basket and I love how she put the Sweet Annie in there. And it's sold. Tracy had said that a lot of her stuff had already sold out, so I wish I would have got here a little bit sooner. See, you have to add a little greenery, just a little interest to your item. I like what she did here too. Can you imagine painting with this big honkin' brush? It's pretty big. The feathers in this metal pitcher is just a really nice touch.
but I did get this clock, so I am a happy camper. And again, Tracy's shop is called The Curate, and I will leave a link in the description for you. This next lady takes repurposing to a whole nother level. Her name's Angie, and her booth is called Surrey Lane Studio. So Surrey Lane Studio started with finding vintage pieces um, at places, flea markets, estate sales, and repurposing them into new jewelry. Then I went to uh, linens and started making skirts out of vintage pieces of material, tablecloths, to paint sacks, um, vintage very, very scarf shirts. So I'm going to just take a little close-up of everything. I really love what you do. Look at this, you guys. Oh, love that. It's made from a cow tag. And let's take a look at the little skirts there. Her booth is just beautiful. Thank you. So she makes all these skirts. Look at this. Is that unreal that somebody just Beautiful. I'll leave a link in the description so if you guys see anything that you like, you'll be able to contact her. So you need to save yours. My mom loves, I buy mom stuff like this all the time because the stuff out of like um, candy wrappers, have you seen those things? Mom, isn't her booth cute? Very cute. I looked up Surrey Lane Studio on Facebook and she has a lot of before and after photos and this is one of them that was featured on there. It's her mannequin that displays some of her jewelry and I think she did a really beautiful job on it. Here's just a few more things in her booth and this next thing I'm gonna show you, you're gonna love. I love how she repurposed this frame too and all the little objects in there. See, that's kind of what I want to do with the scissors. I love this. Look how cute that is. Yeah. And she even took old hunting jackets and hunting vest and repurposed them as well. Oh, so look at this, you guys. She does like a hunting vest and she does fabric on there. And is that like an embroidery? Yeah, in, in needlepoint. Yep. Oh, nice. And then at the pin. And, oh, that's cool too. So, kind of very nice. And then the same for a vest. You have a yes, vest like hunting that too. vest. Yeah. Oh, that's cool too. So, oh, I love it. Yeah. Just you're very trying creative. to <laughs> embellish things that yes. are old. If there's anything you saw at Surrey Lane Studio, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can contact her. This booth was called the Home of Stone, and it really caught my eye because it had more of a masculine decorating style to it. I have two older boys, and you're not going to do like this cutesy room, so I do like to look at that kind of style as well. As a booth perspective, I like how she used this moss as a backdrop. She definitely could decorate. I loved her chandeliers and a lot of her pieces. Her booth just had that high-end look to it. These are really nice wool pillows. Again, her booth is called The Home of Stone, and you can follow her on Instagram. I'll also leave a link in the description so that you can get a hold of her if there's something that you saw. Now, this booth I come every year to because she has some really cute stuff. I really love her burlap pumpkins here. She actually did some last year, and we also made some in a Trash to Treasure project. More Sweet Annie. This is a cool bird cage.
These candlesticks are really nice too. I bought this old dustpan because I want to do something like what Debbie has in her house. Now how cute is that? Debbie just knows how to put things together and don't forget we're going to have decorating with Debbie. I just got done taping her house. She decorated for fall. It's gorgeous. All right, where were we? That's right, the dustpan. So I bought this dustpan and I have plans for it. What I tell you, isn't this a cute booth? See, this is why I stop at this one every year. And her prices are very reasonable. Oh, I think my mom just found something. What do you got? I think this is a cute little idea. If you get an old piece of uh, driftwood or wood, uh -huh. put a little um, burlap bag, put some greenery. You could do it for all seasons, too. Yeah. And then I just attach some muslin around it. Yeah. So I think it's a great idea. Yeah, that is a great idea. Anyway, this cute booth is called Cardinal Wishes Antiques, and you can find her on Facebook. I will leave a link in the description just in case you saw something that you had to have. Now you know my favorite booth is Twig. They never disappoint. I love how they decorate, and well, let's just take a look. So Twig is owned by Joe and Mickey, and they're on Instagram, and they have quite a following. I first introduced you to Twig last year. I took you through their booth and I showed you the things I liked about them. And I even used one of the pictures I took in their booth as my cover for Springfield last year. So let's take a look at their booth this year. That tool that's all bunched up on the chair looks so pretty there. I'm just gonna stop the camera right here because this is definitely picture worthy. Look at the black bird cage. Then the black basket with the twisted branches. It just looks so awesome. Again, they just know how to put all this together. They use a great combination of wood, blacks, antique white. I mean, they have it. They have definitely got it. They just make everything look so high end. I want to get some of these little cash register scent signs like this. I would have gotten some if I had seen them. Not only was this sold, a lot of things were sold. I actually got here late and they had told me that they sold out of a lot of things. See, what did I tell you? Sold stickers everywhere. Wow, is that a gorgeous hutch or what? I just want to go back over here because I wanted to show you these lights. Look how cute these lights are on each side. I love how they display things. Adding just a white pumpkin to whatever you have displayed really just adds like a lot of interest. I really love these. I 
I bought some really cool spindles from them. Well, I was sorry that I got here so late because again, Twig sold out of a lot of stuff. I would have loved to see what they had earlier, but you know what? They're still my number one booth because I love how they put things together. They just have that knack, they have that great eye, and next year I will definitely be here earlier. If you've seen something here, you have to have. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so that you can get a hold of Twig, and you can also follow them on Instagram. Well, it was quarter to two, and I was just going to wait a few more minutes and then head over to the big ice cream cone. And that's when I ran into this fan of the Flea Market Rescue. I wanted to know, what did she find today? I bought windows. I bought a patty chair. Oh, nice. I bought a little suitcase. Oh, that's And then a bunch of little odds and ends stuff. Oh, I love it. What are you going to yeah, do with I'm this excited. suitcase? Um, I'm going to paint it up and decoupage on it. Oh, nice. Nice or, finds. Or maybe IOD. Oh, yeah. Sure. IOD too. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I love IOD. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> she was so sweet, and I'm so glad I got a chance to meet her. I then ran into this lovely lady, Jan. All right, so I just ran into Jan here. Jan, what did you get? I bought a quilt. Oh, oh that's $20. Oh, $20? Yes. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Now, is this your first day up here? Yes. Oh, and have you been finding a lot of stuff? Yes, Isn't it awesome? Yes, it is awesome. Well, it's so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. After I met with Jan, I headed to the big ice cream cone. Can I tell you, I was nervous. I didn't know who was going to be there, how many people were going to be there, but it turned out fabulous and I met such great people that day. Hi, this is Tracy here. I'm so glad to meet her. Thank you for traveling here. It was great. Yes, yeah. awesome. <laughs> That's my husband. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for taking her. <laughs> Okay, so we have gifts for everyone too. So. They're all cakes. Okay, cakes right. and chicken. And, and this is Sheila here. Well. She traveled okay. from Toledo and she's oh. here to visit us and say hi. I'm glad you made it. Thank you yes. so much. So Again, cute. you can pick out what you want. Yeah, Teresa's interview. This is Teresa here from Indianapolis. Thank you for traveling here to meet me. I appreciate Thank that. You. Yes. I have gifts here. So Thank if you. You, we have little pigs, we have Chickens, we have oh, cows, chicken. whatever you want. You can pick it out. Chickens. Where's your mom? Right here. Oh, hi, mom. Oh, hi. <laughs> My name's Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, right here. This is Debbie here. Thank you. She traveled here. So I got this large gold bowl at one of the vendors. He was asking $125, but he gave it to me for $75. Excellent deal. I was thinking about turning it into a coffee table. Excellent deal. All so right. This was my score of the day. Excellent. Good job. We had better stuff yesterday. Oh, you already dropped it all off and came back for a second? Yes. <laughs> all right, go meet Kelly and we're good. Yes. To do a photo with everybody, but I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I think she wanted to do a photo. She bought that wreath I was talking about. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I remember I totally you pointed saw that. I'm like, look at that. I think it's so beautiful. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. No, you can't remember. Everybody, no, I didn't. Really? Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Oh, you guys are so wonderful. Thank you. I love thank you so much. your job. Oh, no. Thank you. Squeeze yourself in there. Everybody's gathering together. It was quite the gathering and I just want to thank each and every one of you who took the time to drive to meet my mom and I. You were my highlight of Springfield.
Well, we were tired and hungry, so we decided to just kind of finish up the flea market. And wouldn't you know, I found all this wood that I had to tote back to the car. Do I look crazy or what? But I couldn't pass up this deal. How you feel, Kel? I am sweating. <laughs> Didn't know it was going to be a workout day, did you? No, but you know what? This is worth it. Thirty dollars. I will pull a garbage can anywhere. We're gonna that have a lot is of great called signs. true crafting, right there. <laughs> all right, you guys. We managed to pack, but oh my gosh, look at all this! I don't know if we can get anything else done. Look at all this. All right, I am kind of like stuck behind our wagon. I gotta drive home with this on me. Um, and we're going to hit the Goodwill. Do you think we really need to do that? Truth be told, we did hit a Goodwill right by the hotel. But we only found a couple things. And like I said, we were hungry, we were tired, so we were heading to the Cracker Barrel. I already know what I'm getting. I'm getting the meatloaf because they have the best meatloaf. I think we all got meatloaf that night. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.